Welcome to Muir Valley. I'm Nick and you're watching Smoky Bees Natural where we love hiking, backpacking, and beekeeping. It's gonna be a great day today. It's awfully chilly and uh, we're gonna have a great time checking out some arches and hopefully a bunch of waterfalls. So join along. Muir Valley is a privately owned nature preserve, uh, mainly dedicated to rock climbing, but I've seen lots of posts about some wonderful hiking trails out here and uh, tons of waterfalls. So that's kind of the main purpose of today's trip is uh, get some wonderful hiking in, see those beautiful waterfalls, even uh, check out a couple arches and just have a wonderful day. Oh, it is chilly. It's, I don't know, 15 to 20 degrees out here. <laughs> My fingertips are numb, but we're gonna have a great day. I'll tell you, not long after you start this place, you get some really cool rock walls. I've already passed a couple of folks rock climbing this morning. That's pretty cool. I wonder how far that goes. No bears in here. Man, this is cool. <laughs> awesome. Our first arch of the day. I believe they call this one Liz's Arch. Nice little arch to come check out. Well, I think I'm lost at this point. Uh, I think I should be way over there on the other side. Um, back here on the south end of the valley, there's not much markings as far as trails, so you, you wind up going up game trails and whatnot. But I mean, you get this, these uh, beautiful rock walls here. So I think I'm gonna turn around, head back to the main trail and see if I can't find Horseshoe Falls. All right. I think this is called Sunnyside, another rock climbing area. And check out that pillar. That thing is cool. I mean, dang. I wonder if it separates. Oh, oh, oh. imagine that one coming down. <laughs> Y'all are not going to believe this. I'm not sure if this is one of the caves, but dang. Check that out. Now oh, that is cool. <laughs> Let's get down there and check it out. Oh. Wait a minute. <laughs> it's an arch. That's so cool. <laughs> Man. All right, here's a uh, view of the arch from the other side. Is that cool or what? <laughs> Dang. Starting to get a little disappointed and frustrated because I kept getting lost, but 
This is the coolest. Let's see if we can crawl through it. <laughs> Woo. Arch number two. As much as I keep getting lost, I promise they do have decent signage. And the cool thing is these little uh, white little pipes, emergency radios. So that's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, the next waterfall is towards Bruce Brothers. I don't like the name of that. <laughs> I hope I'm not gonna get any bruises. <laughs> That is so cool. I forget what kind of frost that's called, but anybody knows? Leave me a comment. I just think that's the neatest thing ever. <laughs> I made it to Horseshoe Falls. Quite a bit of ice. Let's see if I can't get down there. Check it out. But that water is just blue as blue can be. Man. Too cool. Now that is cool. <laughs> oh, check that ice, ice out, man. These rock overhangs are huge. Oh, climbed up to the other side after getting a photo. I figured I'd come over here and walk under the waterfalls. <laughs> man. I gotta say it, Muir Valley is not disappointing. <laughs> Woo. recess rock looks like uh, Triforce rock from the front end of it <laughs> anybody remembers my uh, trip with the kids to uh, Copperwoods Creek kind of reminds me of it but you can kind of see little loops and such where uh, folks probably come out here and practice climbing pretty cool Well, <laughs> kind of lost again. Uh, I'm in Joe Ponder Hollow. And I think at the very end, I should be able to find a double waterfall. So, all I know is to follow the creek bed. And then somewhere up there is uh, an arch, but if I don't see it, that's fine. But I don't see this waterfall. <laughs> all right. Check out this ice. That is so cool. <laughs> All right. It's a dog barking in the background. Her name is Penny Lane. Cute little puppy. Yeah. Oh boy. Now oh, this is cool. This is the Double Falls at Joe Ponder Hollow. You've got one and two 
And look at the color of the water. It's like emerald green or blue. Man, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, man. All right, starting to think that I might have uh, underestimated this trail system. My knees are killing me. Anyway, uh, we are gonna try and check out one more waterfall. Uh, we're gonna try and see Nellie's Falls before we call it a day. But um, I'm gonna start listening to my knee. I got some new winter boots that I just don't think they're agreeing with me. So anyway, I'll see you down the trail. hurts my knees just to look at it <laughs> it's one odd looking bridge oh, this is cool oh. it's a little recess oh man and that sun is bright today the rock climbers have got it made here jeez what a wall. <laughs> Nellie Falls is pretty cool, but that's only half of it. Check out the Cascades. That is super cool. And it just keeps on dropping. Awesome. Okay, got one more steep climb, and that's out of the valley into the parking lot. So I'll wrap it up here. Muir Valley Nature Preserve is a definite must see. You can come out here for an awesome day hike and even rock climbing if you're into it. They're a nonprofit organization, organization. <laughs> uh, so there is a $10 parking fee when you get here and you have to sign a waiver because it is a private property. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below to their uh, website, but it's a definite, definite must visit. Um, the inspiration for today's trip was from my buddy Michael at uh, the Kentucky Hiker Project. I'll leave his uh, link to his website below too as well. Uh, he's got awesome trip vlogs and uh, you got to check him out. He's inspired me to see multiple trips this year. So anyway, if you'd like this video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and of course, subscribe. And don't forget, support your local beekeeper.